Now that we are developing server-side components, it's very important that we learn how to debug those codes. And perform this operation using the SAP HANA web-based development workbench is very easy. You just need to configure your environment for that. So this time, we are going to use in the HANA Studio only to access the HANA configurations. And if you double-click on your system, you will see on the configuration tab, here you can find inside the access engine group an option called debugger, right there. And all you need to do is enable this feature. In my case, it's already enabled. If by any reasons you cannot find the debugger option inside the access engine group, you can just create it. You create the debugger group and inside it, I enable parameter. Last step is just make sure that your user has the privileges to use the debugger. So I'm gonna to go to the security and check on system user if he has the access to the debugger capabilities in the access. So right here it is. With both these settings, we can go back to the SAP HANA web-based development workbench and debug our server-side JavaScript. And for this example, I'll get this JavaScript that calls access JavaScript library. So all we need to do is set a breakpoint with double click and execute our code. You see that you won't have any results in here because right now if you go back to your web ID, you will see that the debugger is enabled. And right here you can perform all the trivial debugger operations. So you can use the step over, check all the variables and here you will see all the values and trace those val va variables. And in here in the call of the access JavaScript library, here we go inside and here I have the other script that I just opened calling the specific function. We can also check it as well. For this case in particular, I will get an error because as we've seen before, we need to pass parameters for this service to work. But since my debugger session is already initiated, I can just go right here in the results and set the parameters directly like this. Oops, sorry. Like this, yeah. And you will see that it's also waiting for the debugger to proceed. And if we go back in the debugger, it is right there. And this time, of course, I will have the BP type and the top as parameter. The BP type and the other one as parameters. So I can just resume and at this time we have the results. So it's very simple to debug your server-side JavaScript using the web-based development workbench.